<sighs> What's up, y'all? So, I just got through working out at a local park, and I drove. I drove here, and I, wor I worked out, did everything. You know, you'll see the workout at the end. I did lunges, so my legs are, you know, pretty worked up. Um, but one thing is, is that the car I was driving here won't start. So now I'm walking back home. So it was about an eight minute, eight to 10 minute drive. Now I am, uh, now it's an hour, it's an hour long drive. So I'm walking, I guess I'm going to be walking all the way home and it's kind of raining. Uh, let me see, I don't know if I pack my umbrella. I think I might have it. But of course, there's gonna be cars passing by, stuff like that. This is, this fucking sucks, bro. That's all I gotta say, man. It's like, I don't know, well, that car, it was, it was honestly on its last legs. You know, I, I should've, I should've maybe just stayed home or I should've brought like this this power block thing that you can plug into the car to to help us start up, but I wasn't thinking. I was thinking that, hey, maybe, you know, I might get lucky and it might start back up when, um, when I finish my workout, but that wasn't the case. And they got me really pissed. Well, I guess I still am, I still am pretty mad, but it's just whatever, man. So, and you know, my, my sister, she can't drive, so it's not like she can take one of the cars at the house and then come down here and pick me up. And my dad, he's out working. He's really far out, so he can't really come down to to get me. So, unfortunately, I just have to drive, not drive, sorry, walk all the way home. Hopefully, this, this doesn't really interfere with anything else I have going on because I do have work later. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to take that shitty ass car, sorry, that, that car to, um, to work, that my dad, he was going to drop me off to work today, but man, it's just like, bro, the car problems, the car trouble we've been having, it's just, it's just horrible, man, I mean, we really only have two functioning cars, and one of them I can't even really use, which kind of sucks, so now I'm just stuck with one of the the shitty cars and then i have to deal with that and then i and then i have to deal with the shortcomings of it the last car i was driving that car was just uh it was my mom's old car and that car was just it, it did it did whatever it wanted it wouldn't start up when it would be cold um at some point i don't know if it was the keys or something but the doors the doors just wouldn't open so i had to crawl through the trunk in order to get into the car. Um, yeah, so we ended up taking that one to the shop and then, you know, we, we don't deal with it anymore. And then this one I'm driving now, this car, that car has been honestly run to the ground because my dad would use it for his work. And um, it, it, it's, it's as if you drove that car for like 25 years, and, you know, and is, that's the result. Uh, so it's a Nissan. I don't know if that says, says that I, don't, I don't know if that says something about Nissans, about if Nissans are like reliable cars or whatever. But that was dookie booty. That was horrible. So, yeah. So it's like, my dad is like, he does like Uber, Lyft, so he used, he drives a lot. And so if you're going to drive a car that, you know, sometimes doesn't even want you to drive it that much, then obviously it's going to run down. And then, you know, we got to go from car to car. And then it's like I'm getting like hand-me-downs. I don't want to, I don't want to be like as if I'm complaining or something like, oh no, my dad, he only gives me like horrible cars, whatever. But it's like, I'm like, dude, like every car that I've been driven, that I've driven, would always have some type of problem. We would get it fixed here and there, you know, whichever car. 
with him, like just, just like, bro, just all the all the problems you can think of. But I don't know, man. That's that's whatever, man. This is just one of life's hits, you know. Where, and, and you just gotta take it. You just gotta deal with it. I don't know. Maybe like how I said, starting off with a good day. I mean, shit. To be honest, this this isn't really one of the best days I could have. But you know, I don't. I don't even know, man. This just sucks. But. Yeah, and I could have, there could have been ways for me to circumvent this issue. So, you know, I put, I put the blame on me. I do put some of the blame on me. There was something I wanted to talk about, though. Um, I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, okay, I remember. So, the other day, I was having a conversation with my mother about how like like I was I think I, I just asked her like what do you think of like BBLs and she said like she doesn't have anything against it but um I don't know like just don't overdo it stuff like that she personally wouldn't get one or whatever and um I don't know why I asked my mom that question I just thought uh, uh, I, I don't know but I asked because like uh, a lot of women at my job, sorry about that. A lot of women at my job, they, uh, you can tell that they got work done. And it's just interesting. Like, personally, I don't, uh, I wouldn't advocate for something like that. And it just, a lot of time it looks weird because they have like this gigantic butt, but they don't have legs that match. And it, it just doesn't look normal um, because... The only way to really develop that type of butt is through like working your legs, working out, and they don't have that. Like I know some women might just naturally hold more fat in their in their butt more so than their legs, but you know that's not every woman. But whatever, whatever. And then we kind of got on the topic of and other types of procedures, and so. Uh, I don't know, just get to the, the broader point was like, she was, I was talking about like maybe um, you can't get true confidence unless you actually like work on yourself and improve on your health, your physical self through, you know, working out, eating properly, whatever the case may be. And then she was saying like, you know, but what if like you just don't care? And honestly, I don't think there's anyone in the world who doesn't want to feel better in their body. Now, not many people want to actually put in actual hard work to lose that weight or to improve themselves or whatever the case may be. They're always gonna find some type of coping mechanism to trick themselves into thinking the way they are now is the perfect way. And I just don't believe in that. And I don't think for the most part, I don't think the case is like, oh, I just don't care anymore. Oh. Or, oh, you know, I'm just trying to accept the way I am. I think for the most part, what it usually is, is giving up, right? You know, you tried this, you tried that, you tried for this many years, you did this method, that method, whatever the case may be, you know, whatever a hundred and a million excuses you might want to uh, talk about or bring up. I just don't believe in that. Sorry for cutting in and out, it's because a bunch of cars keep walking by and it's like, creating so much noise but for the most part when people say like you know i'm trying to accept myself or i i uh i don't care or whatever i feel like it's not that i feel like it's just you just gave up you you decided to throw your hands up and say you know fuck this whatever i don't care anymore but deep down inside you do care deep down inside you probably do want to better your own health but it's just that you know maybe your methods may have been wrong maybe you know you didn't have the best i don't know teacher whatever the case may have been because there's so many aspects in life where people will just blatantly give up without even trying uh you know just for more now i can see you're just naturally not gifted in something but 
I just believe that that when it comes to your health, at least, I don't think, you know, there should be anything like giving up. You know, your health should be like a lifelong journey to always improve it, whether you're 13 years old or whether you're uh, 83 years old, right? So, you know, I, I just feel like when it comes to my mother, I know she likes to work out, but you know, she'll just say stuff like this that like, you know, is that you, or do you, do you really think you just gave up? I mean, do you really want to only have, you know, limited time on this earth because you just stopped caring or do you actually want to improve? So, I don't know, I just believe in taking care of yourself, actually taking care of yourself and not getting into that uh, defeatist mindset. Uh, because that that is very that is poison to the brain you know i just kind of believe like you know getting all these surgeries or enhancements or it, it's just taking the easy way out right it's like the same uh when it comes to like steroids that's just taking the easy way out to your progress and it's just it just kind of like it's like a weakness mindset in my opinion um where you willingly uh, just go under the knife or I don't know go under their syringe what not syringe is that what they're called right I don't know the needle whatever whatever and you know just like because I feel that the person who works with what they have and what they were born with and makes the best of it they will be 1000% more confident than someone who got whatever enhancements or, you know, who uh, took whatever surgeries, or whatever the case may have been. I don't know, then again, like, these things are not natural to us. Um, just all the surgeries and, of course, steroids. They have, like, all of their own health uh, problems and things like that. Um, it's not even, like, healthy to just get injections in your body or to um, just remove, just move the fat somewhere and move it somewhere else in your body like that just that just cannot be good for your health and it's really all this stuff is really done for attention um you know whatever that attention may be whatever it may be from women or be from guys or just attention on social media um and i don't feel like at least that type of attention is not the right type of attention I feel like there's better ways to gain people's attention without having to augment your body in a way that is going to possibly destroy it in the years to come and so i just believe in you know dealing with your cards and uh playing them to the best of your ability and not trying to change your cards because those cards are they're there they're like the uh the off-brand cards right they're the walmart great value cards off topic but I get, I'm kind of starting to enjoy the walk now. Uh, I know my way. I know my way. I know where I'm supposed to go for the most part. So I'm kind of enjoying it now. But would I have wanted to walk anyways? No, not really. But am I walking now? Yeah. So I'm just going to keep on walking. At least I have a story to tell. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, you guys hearing me walking. Oh, another instance. Right there, there, uh, there are times where I could have given up on myself, on my health. Um, like when I found out I had gynecomastia, and I could have. So, like you know, from all the research that I did before, it was like a uh, doctor saying, "Oh, exercise cannot help with gynecomastia. In fact, it's going to make it worse, or whatever the case may be." That just completely. That just completely uh, ruined my mindset when it came to exercise. I was like, well, if exercise is just going to make my condition like worse, then what's the point of me even working out? And so I'm just like, well, I'm just not going to work out until, uh, you know, I can get the surgery when I'm like 17 or 18. But, you know, that just that just wasn't a good mindset to go with. I should have. Well, I mean, I did start anyways. I did start working out anyways at, certain, at some point. But at that time, I had the defeatist mindset. I had the, the mindset of taking the easy way out. 
I was, you know, insecure, of course, and I wasn't working on myself. I wasn't dealing with the cards that I was dealt uh, properly. I was, I just, I wasn't playing the game, you could say. And there's so many people that just don't play the game because they've given up on it. Or, you know, maybe so much time has passed and then they feel like they just don't care. Or, you know, maybe they focus too much on other people. Uh, but like in mentioning giving up on myself, like I was also the fat kid. So, and you know, my mother was a uh, big or well, I guess she still is, whatever. My dad, um, you know, a lot of family members uh, just not really in shape. And so I could have looked at them, then I could have looked at myself, and I could have been like, well, if they're like this, then I'm probably going to stay like this forever. And imagine if I if I had that mindset at, you know, whatever young age I was, that could have really destroyed me mentally. I could have still been this fat, uh, chubby kid feeling bad about himself, believing that, well, there's nothing for me to do about my weight because... You know, all of my family members are, are like this, so I'm just going to stay like this. Which, you know, that's one thing. That's also bullshit. People say uh, your weight gain is, like, hereditary. Or um, just being fat is hereditary. No. What can become hereditary is habits, family habits, um, <clears throat> that we end up spreading to the next generation, which can be very detrimental to their health. Like... My mother's side of the family, almost like the entire, maybe, maybe, not, maybe not the entire, but a lot of the family, Every a lot of people are overweight. Uh, my uncles, grandparents, uncles and aunties of my, of my mother, my aunties, even some of the kids. And so it's just, what it is, is just people spreading down just this cycle. And some people, they just, don't even know better some people just don't even know that like hey you know maybe i'm supposed to not uh continuously shove food down my throat and then also not do any type of physical exercise whatsoever and because of that i don't know there's just not there just isn't uh knowledge about that stuff sometimes you know the school system fails us uh when it comes to physical education um again family habits you know, no one in your family not knowing any better. Maybe there's like that one person, that one distant cousin that's like a body, a bodybuilder. But it's like, you know, how long are they going to keep that up, right? You know, there's a lot of even old folks. Oh, you know, I used to do what you do, you know, when I was about your age, when I was young. And then they have like a gut that's coming out so far, they probably can't even see their toes when they're tying their shoes. And... That's because, like, they didn't have, they didn't know a way to actually maintain that stuff as they got older. Like, of course, there's life responsibilities, you know, children, bills, different jobs, a lot of other stresses, uh, financial problems. But, you know, in the end, there's always some type of way you can find in order to keep things up.